Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Cryptomina. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you are doing well. Today I want to introduce you to an app that I have been using for a few months and I absolutely love it. And if you are anything like me, you will fall in love as well. This is called Stepin, a move to earn app. As the name suggests, you have to do physically in order to earn. So in the case of this one, step in, you have to physically move, run, jog uh, in order to earn some cryptocurrency. So there are two great things. It will force you to get out of your house to do some physical activity and which is good for your health, physical and mental. And in return, just for doing some walk, some jog for a few minutes, it started just 10 minutes. So by doing walk, for 10 minutes, you will earn cryptocurrency. And it's that simple. Now, the first thing you have to do is to have a phone because you're gonna download the app on your phone. You will need a working phone with internet and GPS enabled because this app actually measures your movement using GPS. So you will need internet connection, like a data connection that you can use outside the home without a Wi-Fi. Um, so first thing you will go to, um, you can use an Android phone or Apple phone and go to the Play Store, download the app. As you can see, I'm on Android phone. I search for step in and I can see an app with 1 million plus downloads. I have already downloaded the app, but if you are going to be the first time user, you will download the app and it will ask you to register. So you will enter your email address. It will send you a code to that email. You will enter that code back into the app and then it will ask for an activation code. Now that's a tricky part because the activation codes are limited. The app is so popular that activation codes are so rare. They give out activation codes, I believe 1000 on Telegram and 1000 on Discord every day and they just go out in seconds. So, it might be difficult to get it that way, but don't worry, I got you. Every day I post on Telegram uh, an activation code. Um, all you have to do is to look for that tweet and retweet and follow me because uh, I will need you to follow me so I can DM you. If you're not following me and I post that on the Twitter, then bots or anybody else can get it. So I just want to give it to you. So all you have to do is follow me. Simple as that. Once you have the activation code you can put in, you need an activation code only once. Once you put an activation code, you're done. You don't have to worry about activation code again. And I give out an activation code every day, so you don't have to worry about it. If you don't get it one day, you can try again the next day. All right, so activation code done, and you are probably in the app. So your app will look something like this, but without a shoe and without some cryptocurrency or stats and everything like that. But again, you are in. Now, um, the, the other thing that you want to do is set up your wallet. So right now the app runs on two different chains. It can run on Solana or BSE or Binance Smart Chain. We're going to talk about Solana. And um, so we just set up your wallet. You can set up both wallets for Binance Chain and Solana. So in order to get started, you will need some Solana to buy your Snicker. Now, Solana is available on all the major exchanges. The only thing you might want to keep in mind is that sometime by, um, transferring from Binance is delayed because the network, like Solana network, is congested. But other than that, you can find Solana on almost every exchange. So next question is how much Solana you need because you are going to buy a shoe. Yes, these shoes are expensive. There were people who got into the project really early on and they got really good prices. But now the shoes are expensive because this game is so hyped up. Now, what you want to do is go to this um, cart and it will show you the marketplace. So I'm going to clear my filters and by default, it is uh, sorted by the lowest price sneaker. So these are the uh, sneaker in the marketplace. So you can buy your sneaker from the marketplace now. It is very important your first, what is your first sneaker? Um, I'm going to click on the filter so I can show you different kinds. I'm gonna click on sneaker. There are four different classes of sneakers. There are walker, joggers, runner, and trainers. So the walkers are the one 
um, uh, which are good for everybody. If you have come, uh, some kind of um, disability or you have some injury or you cannot uh, really jog or run, then walker are good because for jog um, walker you have to maintain a speed between one to six kilometer per hour. Yeah, it's in kilometers because the app developers are from Australia, so not really in miles. Um, so one to six kilometer for a walker, and that's really easy. I mean, like you can walk at that um, pace easily, um, as long as you don't have any major injury. Now the next uh, shoe class is jogger. So jogger um, is my personal favorite and a lot of people like it. The reason being is that jogger uh, pays you slightly more than walker. Remember, you're walking to earn. So jogger speed is between four to, um, I'm going to click on it and show you too. So if I click on any shoe, you can actually read it from here. You will see right over the jogger, it say four to 10 kilometers per hour. So you, if you get a jogger, you have to maintain your speed or pace between four to 10 kilometers. Honestly, I feel if you are healthy and in good shape, uh, you can easily walk um, four to five kilometers per hour. And if you're brisk walking, you will exceed six kilometers. So jogger, essentially you will be using to walk. A little bit faster and the good point is that jogger are slightly more than walkers but it is up to you if you want to get walkers and you feel like jogger will be too much and you cannot then walker is fine and then it come runner so if you are actually somebody who hits the gym every day and you're strong then runner is good but keep in mind that you will be running so for runner you have to maintain a speed between um, eight to, sorry, I did not click the filter. Oh, I did. Oh, sorry. So for the runner, you have to maintain a speed between eight to 20 kilometers. So which is, which is um, definitely you cannot walk at eight kilometers per hour. You have to either jog or run. So it is difficult for a lot of people, especially if you're doing it every day for over a period of time. All right, so there is the last one, the trainer. The trainer ones are like so good. They must be everybody's favorite. But the problem with trainers are they are very expensive. With the trainers, you can walk between one to 20 kilometer. You can jog, you can run, or you can sprint. So they are very versatile uh, with the pace. So you can do anything. So they're really good. For that reason, they are very expensive too. And the other reason why they're expensive is because they aren't a lot more than joggers. So if you have to sort these shoes in terms of earnings, so joggers and runners earn the most. They almost earn the same. There's always a discussion like tra trainers earn, I feel like trainer earns slightly more, but like a lot of people think uh, or say it's the same. Uh, if there is a difference, it's so less that it doesn't matter. So runner and the trainer earn the most, then the joggers and finally the walkers. But it is not a big, big difference. Now, if you want to look at the prices, the runner are the cheapest. After that, it's walker, then joggers, and then the trainers. So when you are selecting the shoes, keep in mind your physical activity level because your main shoe will be the shoe you will be using every day. So getting one shoe will give you two energy. Every energy means five minutes. So two energy means 10 minutes. One shoe you got from the marketplace will give you 10 minutes of walking time or running time or jogging time. So in that time, you will be able to earn. Now, remember, if you are getting a runner and your um, runner says that the speed needs to be eight to 20 kilometers, and if you are going slower than eight, um, eight kilometers, then you will not earn. Similarly, if you get a walker and it say you can walk between one to six kilometer and you are walking at, let's say, or running at seven kilometers or eight kilometers, then you will not earn when you are uh, breaching that threshold. All right, so we talked about different shoes that you have to select. Now, the next thing is your quality. So there are 
five qualities common uncommon rare epic and legendary right now legendary shoes are not in the market or in the game so you only have the first four choices the common shoes are common so they are the least expensive then uncommon rare and epic epics are super expensive now the thing with the quality is that the higher the quality the more you will earn okay so now let's just look at one of the shoes so we can uh, actually talk about a little bit how it, there are different things in the shoe that you have to pay attention to. So this is a trainer, um, right above the trainer, it says one to 20 kilometers per hour. So you can walk, it's a common one, it says that here, and then it is at the level five. The game starts at level zero, but, um, and goes to level 30. There will be additional levels, but right now it stops at level 30. Um, so this shoe is all, somebody bought it, used it, and they have leveled it up to level five. And under the level, you will see the shoe mint. It says two out of seven. So every shoe can be minted up to seven times. So if you have two shoes, you can mint them together and make a baby shoe. But parent shoe can mint it up to seven times. So if you buy this one shoe that you see on the screen, this has been minted twice already. So it can be minted five more times. Now, there is a catch. If you want to buy a zero mint shoe, that will be more expensive because it has not been minted. So should you buy a shoe which has been minted or not? So if you are gonna, gonna get into the game and you just want to dip your feet, so buying a shoe which has been minted already will be cheaper for you and it really doesn't matter because you're not going to mint that in future. But if your plan is to get two shoes and mint a third one or get to five or six or different number of shoes, then it is very important to get a zero mint shoe because the minting cost of first and the zero mint is cheaper compared to third and fourth mint cost. So as you start minting more and more the same shoe, the cost of minting goes up. So that's why you will see a lot of shoe in the market at three out of seven or two out of seven mints that they have used the first two mints, which are cheaper, and then put the um, shoe for sale. So that's what it is. I'm going to pick another shoe here, um, just for, just for, okay, so this one. Now you will see there are some different attributes, efficiency, luck, comfort, and resilience. So the first thing you wanna pay attention to is efficiency and resilience. These are most important. And you wanna click on the base stats to just see the base. So for the common shoe, your base stats are out of 10. So efficiency is six out of 10 for this one and so on and so forth. So higher the efficiency, better the shoe is. It means it will give you more, efficiency means more cryptocurrency or GST earning. The second thing is luck. If you're only gonna one or, one or two shoes, the luck will not matter to you, so you can ignore it. Then it is a comfort. Right now, that's not enabled in the game, so that's for GMT earning, and that's not enabled, so forget about luck and comfort for your one shoe. So you wanna pay attention to efficiency and resilience. Resilience is basically the durability of the shoe. So for example, for this shoe, this is 1.5 out of 10, so really low durability, so that. That's not good. So we wanna keep closer to 10. So obviously the closer it is to uh, that, then the price will be high. For example, this one is going for 16.9 Solana. That is like $1,600. So if I just filter and clear everything, the cheapest shoes on the market right now is this Walker, which is for 13 Solana. And this shoe is minted three times. It is at level five, efficiency is 2.2 and resilience is 4.5. So yeah, the base stats are not good, but um, it's the cheapest shoe. So you can find a better shoe which has more efficiency and resilience and you can buy that. But it depends on your budget. So you have to keep in mind, you really want to um, uh, look at the base stats to see what is the base. So for example, this one has a really high comfort, but we are not going to use the comfort, so it really doesn't really matter to me. And um, let's look at something else. So for example, this runner. Okay, let's say you're an athlete and you wanna get this one. I'm going to click on base to see the base stats. So the efficiency you see is 1.7 and the resilience is 2.2, again, very low. So when you're buying a shoe, just pay attention to the base stats. 
pay attention to efficiency and resilience for your one shoe. If you are going to get into more shoe, we will talk about in future videos. And um, again, um, you want to pay attention to your activity level. If you are athlete, get a runner. But keep in mind, you have to run for 10 minutes with one shoe. So if you can do it, good. It's when summer comes, sometimes it gets hot and difficult to run. And for that reason, I suggest joggers. But um, I do not know your physical physical activity level so make a smart decision do what you think is best for you anyhow that's all for this video if you have any questions please let me know in the comments or hop onto the telegram and be just careful don't talk to anybody who just dms you and stay safe and i will see you soon happy investing